can't believe it's here. At last. At last. It's finally here, people. Oral-B's brand new electric toothbrush, the IO Series 10, and it's their absolute flagship model. We'll unbox it, set it up, and given its ridiculous price tag, we'll also compare it to its predecessor, the currently much cheaper IO Series 9. So please sit back, relax, and if you're into these everyday smart tech novelties, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. Let's do this. First, let's get the elephant straight out of the room. Who pays 550 euro for an electric toothbrush? That is a lot of money. It's yet to be released in other countries, but I expect it to be priced there more or less the same. So my first tip would be, if you really want this and you have the patience, wait for the price to drop to about half because that's exactly what happened to the IO Series 9. Now back to the new one. This is the Cosmic Black version. It also comes in Stardust white and looking at the box you can immediately see what this upgrade is all about it's not the toothbrush itself but the magnetic charging stand with iosense technology which we'll get into later now on this side of the box you can see the seven different smart modes you can brush your teeth with so you've got the daily clean sensitive super sensitive whitening gum care intense and the tongue clean mode which make both the 9 and 10 stand out from the other toothbrushes in the io series on the other side there is an image of the content of this box and an overkill of unnecessary translation. It also says you've got two years of limited warranty and a 30 day risk free trial. That is actually really nice. Now on the back there's a lot of information about its specifications. There's the smart pressure control, the not so incredibly interactive color display, there's the artificial intelligence 3D teeth tracking, which is my absolute favorite, and the magnetic charging stand with its intuitive guiding light. Then the rest of the box, not so interesting. Here it shows the app and a QR code, which takes you to their website. Okay, now Oral-B's unboxing experience generally leaves quite a lot to be desired, but let's hope they have been able to improve this. So here it comes, the magic moment. 550 euro and this is what you get second chance okay what's this a manual and look what we've got here it took us a while the brush handle feels good not heavy not slippery nice design although it does feel a little bit plastic fantastic the speckles though i really don't get it looks like drops of paint you can actually feel them and it makes me want to scratch them off not an improvement on the IO Series 9, if you ask me. It has a shiny bottom with a lot of information on it. And here you can see the mechanical part that controls the brush head. Above the display, there's the power slash confirm button. And with the button beneath it, you can switch between the seven different smart modes, change some settings or do a factory reset. Let's move on to the power to go charging case. Why is this even wrapped in plastic? This case feels very cheap for such an expensive toothbrush. It has room for the brush handle and for one brush head. Here's the part where you plug in the cable and the battery indicator light will blink green while charging and will stop blinking when it's done. It does work perfectly though and that's what's most important. Now let's see what else we've got. It comes with one a brush head. You can keep them in this brush head holder. Just put it on one of the two black nipples. Then you put the cover back on and you're good to go. Then there's the detachable charging cable, which is about 90 centimeters or 35 inches long. Now, last but not least, and basically what this upgrade is all about, the magnetic charging stand with IOSense technology. And as you can see, this is where you plug in the charging cable. That is different from the IO Series 9 because there it is fixed. The new one is a lot bigger, but they do look exactly the same though with a black matte finish on the top and a shiny finish on the side. The Wi-Fi symbol above the charging port is actually a touch button. You can change the magnetic charging stand to low power mode to save energy. Tap it twice to put it to sleep and tap it once to wake it up. And for a factory reset of the charging stand, you press and hold the button 
release it when the lights turn orange and tap it once. Then it confirms the reset by orange lights spinning clockwise. There is some manual tucked away in here, which contains a very useful troubleshooting section. I know it's not a good sign, but I had to resort to this manual a couple of times while making this video. Oh, and there's a little paper with a tiny toothbrush on it. It's an extra year of warranty for free, which you'll get when you register. This is a nasty place to put this brown. Now let's set it up for the first time according to the one page manual. First, we plug in the cable into the magnetic charging stand. Check this out, that looks really fancy. I like that when the lights are out, you don't see anything. That is beautiful. So step one accomplished, step two. Now we need to hold the toothbrush close to the magnetic charging stand and press the power button. You can choose your language. English is just fine, press okay. White is fine as well as a ring color. And that's it. Are we connected now? We are connected. We did it. Now, before installing the app, I advise you to check if the Bluetooth connection is really established. You can do that by just pressing the power button and the clock on the display will light up. Now let's continue with the app. You can create an account if you don't already have one. Then we go to devices. You go to your brushing system and tap connect now. You press start. It just found the iOS charging stand. And now we press the power button and it finds the brush. Installation is actually really easy. Yes, go ahead. Then you can add the Wi-Fi network. We'll do that. Choose the network, enter your password. It's connected, easy as that. And now in your brushing system, you can see your toothbrush and your Oral-B IOSense charging stand. It's surprisingly easy when you patiently follow the steps. Now, before we start using it, I'd like to point out something practical first. As I already noticed with its predecessor, the connection between the magnetic charging stand and the toothbrush is really weak. And with the risk of somebody bumping it off the wash basin, it makes me wonder, where am I gonna put this thing? I've actually always had an Oral-B Genius fall off the edge of the bathtub and it died right there on the spot. These toothbrushes are not that durable but it's really important to find the perfect place for it as it will give you feedback about brushing time, brushing coverage, and the amount of pressure applied. That is basically what IOSense technology is all about. And from what I understand, one of the reasons that this charging stand has been designed is for people not having to use the app on their phone every time they want to brush their teeth. But that raises the question, what exactly is the added value here? How does this charging stand compare to Oral-B's other smart ways of using this toothbrush? The way I see it, there are four smart levels of brushing your teeth now. The first and most basic one is when your toothbrush is not connected to anything. And depending on your preferred brushing time, it will shortly vibrate after an equal amount of seconds per segment, telling you to move on to the next one. And while brushing your teeth, the smart pressure sensor shows you feedback through the ring on the handle. With green being perfect, white or your other preferred color means too little and red too much pressure. This is purely timer based and has nothing to do with coverage. One level higher, when connected to the IOSense charging stand, there are two ways of using it, with brush time or with coverage. You can change that in the settings of your app when selecting the charging stand. As you can see, your teeth are now automatically divided into six segments. And when you choose the brush time setting, it will work exactly like the first level. But now giving you feedback by way of short vibrations and through the guiding light on the charging stand. So the only real difference here is a little bit more visual information. Now one level higher, the charging stand is set to coverage. It will use its 3D teeth tracking artificial intelligence, meaning that it knows exactly where it's brushing and for how long. So instead of telling you to move on to the next segment, it now actually follows your movement. And when it establishes that you've covered a complete segment, the light will blink to confirm that and you can move on to the next one. And then in my opinion, there's the highest level of brushing your teeth by way of using the app. Your teeth are still divided into six segments, but every segment consists of multiple zones. Every group of little dots here represent a different zone. So this toothbrush even knows when it's brushing the inner side, the outer side, or the top of your teeth. And as you're brushing, the dots slowly fade away. And when all dots of one segment are gone, it turns white and blinks so you can move on to the next one. So conclusion, the charging stand doesn't even provide us with the highest level of brushing. And it doesn't successfully replace the app because it lacks functionality. Now, 
Now that's where it gets interesting because the IO Series 9 works with the exact same app with the same 16 zones. And that makes it a very appealing alternative. But before we continue, let's see what else they have in common. Same handle design, same shape, same 7 smart modes, of which you're probably only going to use one or two. Both the 9 and 10 come with the extra 20 second tongue clean mode. It's not a touch screen. It's controlled with good old fashioned buttons. Again, both are equipped with real time 3D teeth tracking of 16 zones and have oscillating rotating cleaning action with micro vibration which i have to admit really makes it feel dentist level professional and both have the smart pressure sensor that indicates whether you're brushing too hard too soft or just right battery life is an approximate 14 days on average use and it fully recharges in about three hours both come with the power to go travel case and as you can see the content of both boxes is basically the same so for two electric toothbrushes with a two-year age difference they actually have a lot in common and at this moment i don't see any other real difference than the new charging stand which hasn't been able to impress me so that's why i don't consider this upgrade to be worth the money and to be honest as i see it Brushing with a charging stand is a big step down from using the app, even though that doesn't always work completely flawless either. And believe me, I've always been really skeptical of the app, but now brushing without it, I feel like I'm just kind of doing something. So I would definitely suggest going for the 9. It's cheaper and has all the good of the 10. Next video will be about the new Hydrate Spark 32 ounce smart water bottle, a true lifestyle changer. Hope I've been able to help you and to see you at the next one. Hashtag hi it.